Hello, this is Pastor Ross from Lakeview Church. Thank you for joining me and for logging on. I've really been missing a lot of you that I see regularly when we are meeting in church. But I also miss those of you that I've never even met that are logging on and, and watching. Welcome to uh, just a time of sharing a little bit and deciding how we're gonna spend our time when we have time alone. It's also important to realize that, uh, that even though people are going through difficult situations right now, there's still reason for hope. My favorite Bible verse about having hope is Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know I have the, no, the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for your destruction, that you can have a hope and a future. This verse is so powerful because we really need to have a reason to hope in these times, don't we? God still has a future to look for you to look forward to, no matter how long you live. And today is the day to rejoice and to praise the God regardless of your circumstances. Some of you are going through very difficult times and we're praying for you and encouraging you. But you have to be careful out there. There are things to look out for. One woman and her husband went to the grocery store with their masks on, okay? They did their grocery shopping. She got home, they took their masks off and she realized she brought home the wrong husband. <laughs> well, sometimes we have to watch out for that kind of thing. We have to watch out for our grandchildren and the youth of today also. One of the young people that I was talking to recently said, you know, if your brain was an app, maybe you'd use it more often. <laughs> so as we kind of chuckle and find things to laugh about in these days of quarantine and social distancing and all the things that we do, I hope that you get a chuckle out of different things that happen. I try to tell a little joke before the service every Sunday morning. Hope that you're tuning in at nine o'clock on Sunday morning. Also, we're reaching a lot of you just by internet that have never been to our church and we're so glad that you're joining us and being a part of that. We also want you to know that you can not only worship if you know people that do not have internet connection, that they can call in by telephone and those in, in instructions are on the website as well as in the paper newsletter that comes out every week. If you're not receiving that newsletter, just let us know. Also, we want you to know that uh, we want you to keep in touch with each other. Some of you even call me to encourage me and that really makes a difference. It's really a good thing to do to call into the church and let us know that, you know, even though we're not able to visit most of you personally, we still want to be in touch with you and care about you. We like receiving emails and letters and all of those things from you because it keeps the communication going in both directions. If you have suggestions for how we can be more effective in reaching people, we're open to those because we're reaching new people every Sunday, every week that we have Bible studies during the day. There are a lot of resources that you can take advantage of to be able to uh, kind of stay in touch and stay lifted up, be encouraged because we need to encourage each other. The daily dial of prayer this week is being done by Pastor Linda, and it's being done every week. So if you call in that number at 623-974-5839, you'll hear a brand new devotional each day, each 24 hours, a brand new one is being done by one of our pastors or one of our lay leaders. So we want you to use those resources as possible. We want you to be able to watch us on Sunday morning. Also, on the back porch, more or less, of the church office building, there is a picnic table there, and on that picnic table there are copies, uh, paper copies, of our church directory. It's, it's updated and it's revised, and you can use that to be able to stay in touch with each other. Those that we have pictures for, there's a little picture right by their address and their phone number, so you can keep in touch with them. Also, remember just to stay in concentrated prayer. Prayer for yourself, your own needs. Prayer for us here at the church. And prayer for those who especially have lost loved ones recently. Soon there will be a chance for us to meet online in a Zoom meeting for those that have lost loved ones through Grief Share starting on September the 2nd. There's also resources for you available through Christian radio and television. Some of you are aware of those. There are several Christian radio stations in town that I leave on much of the time that I'm at home just to listen to while I'm doing other things. 
There's also a time for us to be able to just go on the website and find out what activities are happening with the church. And don't forget to invite your friends to join online with us on Sunday mornings, either by internet or by phone. You're such generous and loving people that I really appreciate you. Let's encourage each other and as brothers and sisters in Christ and those of you who may not yet have decided to receive Christ as your personal Savior, I hope that you'll do that today. Just invite Him into your life to forgive you and to come in and live with you. As we know that when we are alone, we're never really alone because God is with us. Be encouraged. God is not only with us, but He's on our side. Amen? Thank you for joining me.